Hello, everybody, and thanks, APD, to, for inviting us to share our story with you. Please allow me to read my presentation, because my English is not perfect. Ten years ago, I decided to build a mouse mansion, not to be a dollhouse, but to function at the stage for the books I wanted to write. Today, the Mouse Mansion is a children's book series that has been published in over 35 countries around the world. It tells the story of best friends Sam and Julia. First, I started sewing a small patchwork blanket. A blanket represents shelter, safety and warmth. This is exactly the way the Mouse Mansion should be. A safe, cozy world in which nothing terrible happens or where everything, at least, has a happy ending. I took an empty carton box and built the first four rooms inside it. I finished the room with paper mache. Every room tells its own story while being a part of a larger story. Opening the book, you enter a new world. It's the world of the Mai, Sam and Julia. With them, you meet the other residents. <laughs> Through the many objects in the house, you learn of their histories, values and customs. During the design process, I have an image in my head. I imagine what kind of atmosphere is suited to that image, and then I create the objects. If you look well, you will be able to see of what kind of material the objects in the house are made of. Bottle caps are used to fabricate lamps. Bicycle lights become bottles and popsicle sticks change into wooden, wooden floors. I fail you the notion that children get to know the origin of objects. I use fabrics from the 50s, 60s and 70s. Parents and grandparents reading to children from the book often recognize the fabrics. The sentence, that's the way our house used to look, offers people an opportunity to tell one's own story. Identific identification with the inhabitants of the mouse mansion happens also because of the use of images of people, as seen, for example, on album covers, boxes and book covers. Not everyone, everything has to be mouse-like to create a mouse world. The furnishing of the rooms provide a recognizable world in which a mixture of real and fantasy are intertwined. There are separate dioramas that I have built for the various book, like a theater, a circus, a fun fair, and a harbor. These dioramas also belong to the world of the mouse mansion. A world that, just like the real world, is too big to grasp. In the books, it's never shown in its entirety. It doesn't matter to a child what the, world, uh, what the world looks like. The only thing that matters is your own street and your neighbors. After completing the structure of the mouse mansion, I designed its inhabitants. Their characters are expressed by the materials used. Julia shows initiative and is mobile type. Her fur is rough and her body is slender. Sam is shy and mild. His body is round and made of a soft fabric. Sam and Julia complement each other. The mouse mansion is a world of encounters. The staircase takes Sam and Julia from one place to another and is the ideal location for encounters. The importance of friendship, friendship is a recurring theme, a theme in the story. An encounter isn't always something fun. This is shown by the time that Sam and Julia notice a rat at the top of the stairs. Third, first, they are afraid, but the rat turns out to be their own shadow. This is a metaphor. Sometimes we are afraid of things or people that are unknown to us. When we put them in a different light, they turn out to be our own prejudice and fear. In the book, Sam and Julia learn not to fear new encounters. They dare to face everything because Julia is very inquisitive and because she knows that Sam will always be at her side. It's important to have a friend to ha with whom you share secrets and go on adventures. This is why Sam is such an important character. The character of Julia is based on me. She lives together with her mother. Julia is poor, like I used to be. 
But Julia is rich in the amount of freedom that she receives from her mother to create things and to, to be adventurous. Sam, together with this family, embodies Julia's dream of having a large family. As a child, I traveled with my mother for some time with the circus. For the third book, called The Circus, I recreate the circus where we lived. I minimize the posters and even the trailers are exactly like the ones we used to live in during my years in the circus. Now that I've told you a little bit about the house and its characters, I like to elaborate on the recurring theme themes in the books. With every book, you learn to know the house and his residents a bit more. Every book communicates that nothing happens by itself. I believe it's important for children to learn how things come to be. Take for example the luggage shop in the mouse mansion. As you can see in the corner, the handbags are designed and created before they are sold. I want children to know that skill takes practice. Even baking pancakes is something you have to learn. In the books, Sam and Julia love to discover the culture and habits of their neighbors. These encounters often take place around dinner time. A meal connects people, and for children it's a known ritual. In the mouse mansion, I let the mice literally taste each other's culture in order to bring them closer to one another. Another recurring theme is overcoming problems. In each book, something happens to Julia. In the first book, she catches chickenpox. In the second book, she breaks her leg. In the third book, she suffers from toothache after, ache after eating too many candies. Julia always stays optimistic. She keeps her spirit high and she overcomes her setbacks. The mouse mansion is a place with hidden layers. Important events and objects from my youth return in the books. Just before I was born, my mother moved from Indonesia to the Netherlands. It was the mid-50s, and she and I were subject to discrimination. This had a big impact on me as a young girl. I remember clearly an incident where my mother was being bombarded by snowballs by the neighbors. They were yelling that we should go back to our own country. At a point, a snowball hit the kitchen window so hard that it broke. My mother closed it up with wooden board. This boarded up window returns in Julia's kitchen the, in the mouse mansion. The window refers to the incident, but it is not mentioned in the books. The mouse mansion is a happy place where such a, such a thing would never happen. I tell you this story because it illustrates how my identity is intertwined in the mouse mansion. Nothing is there without a reason, but not everything needs to be told in the stories. For children, the most important thing is that what hap whatever happens, there will always be a happy end. That's indeed the moment the books end. When everything is all right again, evening falls and Sam and Julia go to sleep. To date, Nine books of the mouse mansion are published. Many more parts will be necessary to tell the stories of all the rooms and to get to know all the residents and their histories. And maybe, if enough children and grown-ups will read and look at the mouse mansion, there is hope that one day the real world will look like the world of Sam and Julia, a world in which you are able to be yourself, even if that differs from your neighbor and in which you feel safe and can live next to, but especially with each other. Till then, we have the mouse mansion. Thank you for your time. I will give the word to my daughter, who will explain how we are building a brand around the mouse mansion. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Manita Schaapman. Together with Karina, my two brothers and a sister, we formed the family business studio Schaapman. We joined hands in 2015 when it became clear that the success of my mother's books required more work than she alone could possibly carry out. With this popularity, Karina's days became filled with um, PR activities, reviewing contracts, foreign book proposals and merchandising samples. There came a point where she was doing everything except the thing that she is so talented at, building the world of Sam and Julia. 
Gradually, me and my brother took over some of her tasks until in 2015 we founded our company. Nowadays, Karina focuses on the actual creation of the mouse mansion, while me and my siblings are in charge of the rest. From the beginning, our aim has been to turn the mouse mansion into something more than the book series. We wanted it to become a strong brand. We already knew about the mouse mansion's strong points. Many of those are obvious. The mouse mansion is very recognizable and extremely endearing. Its characters are original and have depth, and the stories of the mouse mansion are relatable and appeal to a wide audience. The success around the world uh, provided us with a strong foundation. Yet there was lots of work to do. The biggest challenge was coming up with a strong graphic style that complemented the mouse mansion rather than distract from it. We wanted the books and the merchandising to be luxurious and trendy, but still breathe the same atmosphere as the house itself. So we decided to do just that. We took our style cues from the house itself. We looked very closely at the tiniest details of the mouse mansion, for example in this kitchen. Karina has not only used fabrics from the 50s, 60s and 70s, but also prints and packagings from many different eras. You might, for example, recognize a laundry detergent from the 60s in the pictures, or a cereal box from the 80s. All of these are very retro, but they don't adhere to one specific time period. The mix of designs is what makes the mouse mention so authentic. With the rules that we set up for our graphic style, we try to maintain this authenticity. Whenever we design a mouse mansion product, we ask ourselves what this project, product may have looked like if you would have seen it in the mouse mansion. For example, when we designed the packaging for the Sam and Julia dolls, uh, we made sure that it had a retro feel to it. We believe that this is the way that you would find a doll in the mouse mansion toy shop. The plush is selling very well in the Netherlands and abroad. Many Sam and Julia dolls have found their ways into the homes of Mouse Mansion fans. By the end of the year, we will have a total of nine Mouse Mansion characters available on the European market. Another example. When we designed a quartet game, we tried to think of a way that you would logically find playing cards with pictures of mice on them in one of the children's rooms of the Mouse Mansion. We thought of baseball cards and decided to borrow the style elements of these retro cards for the Mouse Mansion card game. These rules for our graphic style allow children to really bring home a part of the Mouse Mansion. The examples of the Mouse Mansion products that I have just shown you were a collaboration with licensing partners. But besides working with partners, we are also producing Mouse Mansion products ourselves. We have experienced that the Mouse Mansion sparks creativity in children, and we want to supply them with the products that will help them to build their own Mouse Mansion. Therefore, last year we have launched two types of furniture kits, a bedroom and a living room. The wooden parts of the furniture, they fit together like a puzzle. All pieces are designed by Karina herself and they can be found in many of the pictures of the Mouse Mansion book series. Next to the printed instructions uh, that we are included in the kits, we also offer videos online explaining how to put the furniture together and how to decorate them, Mouse Mansion style. We are currently developing two additional kits, kits a kitchen and a shop, but <coughs> possibilities are endless. Uh, beside the furniture, we are also working on a modular cardboard room system and building materials such as paper mache and popsicle sticks. The complete line of Mouse Mansion do-it-yourself products will be presented on the Nuremberg Toy Fair in 2019. Another important aspect of our brand strategy is our online presence. Uh, we wanted to communicate with our fans directly, so that's why we are managing the website, the Facebook uh, page, Instagram and YouTube ourselves. We have a special focus on YouTube, since it is the only platform that our target audience independently uses. I'll just play this without sound so that I can continue my talk. <laughs> if it's working. There we go. Uh, on our YouTube channel, we offer videos that explain to children how they can build their own mouse mansion using everyday materials. We provide them with free downloads to use with their projects. Uh, by encouraging children to build their own mouse mansion, we are keeping them involved with the brand for a longer period of time. We have just started the production of a a more than 100 new YouTube videos that will be released in the coming 18 months. 
They are produced and presented by my sister, Lily Schaapman, whom for many young Mouse Mansion fans has already become quite a celebrity. The YouTube channel is currently available in Dutch and English, but it will also be made available in German, French and Spanish in the coming year. There are a lot of videos on YouTube, so you can check them out later if you like. Another thing that we've done is that we've opened a shop in 2017. It's called the Mouse Mansion Shop and Studio, and it's located in the center of Amsterdam, where we are located as well. Uh, we have many Mouse Mansion dioramas on display there, and we sell the books and merchandising to locals, fans, and tourists. We explain to them how Karina builds the houses. The shop and studio is becoming a real tourist attraction there. Since, as you can see, it is quite small, we are planning uh, to move our shop to a larger location. The Mouse Mansion world is uh, vastly expanding. People will be able to wander through the many streets of the Mouse Mansion and view the houses up close. Although the success of the books formed a strong foundation for merchandising opportunities around the world, we still felt that the Mouse Mansion brand needed more exposure. So that's why we started looking for a TV or film partner to bring the Mouse Mansion to a larger audience. We have found a great partner in Rubenstein Pictures, and we are very proud to be working with a company that is able to bring even the tiniest details of the Mouse Mansion to life. For example, this is a picture of the original room of Sam from the Mouse Mansion. And then this is the 3D adaptation of it. Uh, I can also now show you the trailer. It's quite short. There is more material available, but you'll have to uh, contact Mark, Mark Mertens if you'd like to see it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much for listening to our story. Um, we are happy to answer any questions that you may have, and we also have some catalogs with us. It's this one, it's uh, at the door. You can find it there. This is our contact information if you want to reach anybody, and that's it, thank you. <laughs>